let's now speak about correlation. You know, currency pairs correlate with each other. Please look at this table on the screen. This is the table of correlation. I took it from the internet. It can be found on many websites devoted to Forex. In financial world, correlation is a statistical measure of how two securities move in relation to each other. And currency correlation tells us whether two currency pairs move in the same opposite or totally random direction over some period of time. Okay, positive correlation with the coefficient of plus 0.5 or 50% to 100% implies that the two currency pairs will move almost in the same direction. And negative correlation when uh, coefficient is about uh, is from minus 100% to minus 50% means that the two currency pairs will move almost in the opposite direction. If the correlation is about zero, the movements between two currency pairs are said to have a zero or no correlation at all. They are completely independent and random from each other. We have no idea how one pair will move in relation to the other. If you have the strategy that successfully works on different currency pairs, you'd better use it on currencies that have a big correlation so from minus 50% to plus 50%. But usually the pairs you're going to trade have a strong correlation. And for such cases, I created a rule. Let's look at this rule. So if correlation is between minus uh, 50% to 50%, so we don't reduce the lot size of the strategy that creates these two pairs. If the correlation is from uh, minus 75% to minus 50% or from 50% to plus 75%, then we reduce the lot size of this strategy by 25%. And if these two currency pairs are, have a strong correlation, for example, from minus 100% to minus 75%, or from plus 75% to plus 100%, then we reduce the lot size of the strategy by 50%.